uh, quite a steep walk going down now. We think we can get down to it from here, so we're gonna have a look. I've never seen anyone scrape their feet against rocks to get sand off before. There's so many streets here that you can just wander down and explore and just see all these beautiful homes. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. Today we are in Erisera and we're going to show you around this beautiful surfing and fishing town. So Erisera is the only surf reserve in Europe and you might be wondering what is a surf reserve? Well basically it's a protected area for surfing so that includes the environment and you're basically not allowed to camp along this stretch of the coast. <laughs> People say it reminds us of um, Greek islands around here because all the buildings are white with blue on it and it definitely reminds us of places like um, Santorini. Um, it's just beautiful, it's got lots of potted flowers everywhere, um, succulents, cacti and yeah all these white buildings with the blue on it and the and church back streets. there and the cobbled streets. It really does feel like you could be on a Greek island somewhere especially because just in front of us now is the beach. The weather here is very much like Cornwall and we were speaking to someone yesterday who basically says because the land sticks out a little bit it catches the sea mist a little bit like it does in Cornwall and so um, yeah it really does have that feel about it and it's got the mist in the morning the sea breeze blows in and I think in the afternoon it kind of burns off a little bit and then it becomes a bit more sea misty again um, in the evening but it's really cool and we're just currently looking over the main beach of the town and there's um, loads of diggers and stuff rebuilding the beach because it must have got washed away, washed away recently. Um, but yeah, we're just having a good time exploring. There's so many streets here that you can just wander down and explore and just see all these beautiful homes. Some of them are covered in tiles, some of them are painted lots of different colours. Got a pink house, a yellow house, got ones painted in blue, <laughs> uh, <laughs> lots of different pretty houses. So it's kind of like a photographer's and a, a videographer's dream, I guess. Um, we're just exploring this street now and I love how all the street names, they're made out of um, tiles and then they're hand painted on top. So they're very pretty. Just like Paniche, there is lots of surf schools, surf hostels and surf accommodation here. So if you're looking to surf, then you can come here and do so. Apparently the waves are a little bit more advanced in some areas here, but there is also lots of beginner waves on beaches just outside of town. So it has a little bit of everything for everybody and everybody's ability. 
So there's loads of really nice shops here. There's lots of like kind of curated little shops and boutiques, surf shops, cafes and restaurants and the smells from the streets smell really good. So I think we're getting a bit of an appetite so we're on the hunt for a nice lunch spot. Okay, so for lunch we are at Nalu Bowls and it's just by the beach and I've gone for the J Bay, I think it is, with peanut butter. And Johnny has gone for the Uluwatu bowl. And it's got like all these different colours. It just looks so good. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck in. So um, when we were in Bali in 2017, we ate at the same chain of smoothie bowl restaurant. And um, yeah, it was delicious. So this is really reminding us of Bali. And actually um, this town, is known as the Changu of Europe, so it has that very similar feel to it. It's a very uh, like digital nomad, um, like social um, working spaces and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's got a really cool feel to it, and it feels very similar to Bali. <laughs> taking the non-toll route so um, the non-toll roads can be a little bit sketchy so uh, we just had to go over like a really dodgy bit of road where they were just like some guys were working on the road and there was just a board going over a hole that just every time you'd go over it, it would just basically like lift <laughs> so yeah well done Johnny So we've just driven a little bit further south from Erisiri and um, we've come to a beautiful beach. I can't remember the name of it, um, but it's got a really nice parking spot for the van. There's a few other vans here and we've got this uh, quite steep walk going down now. We think we can get down to it from here. So we're going to have a look and hopefully we can get down to the beach. And it's a little bit clearer on the horizon now, so hopefully we even get a sunset. We've seen a few people walking up back up from the beach this way, so we can definitely get down to it from here. Um, it's just a little bit steep and tricky, but it's not its not bad because there's hardly anybody on the beach right now. There's a fisherman, a couple of other people watching, and so it should be really good, and we should hopefully get some really nice photos on this beach. So there definitely used to be a old um, uh, walkway to get down to the beach here, but I don't know if you can see just behind us, it's all being like completely destroyed from all there. So um, yeah, we have to climb down. Going a different way now. <laughs> <laughs>
I've never seen anyone scrape their feet against rocks to get sand off before. It's good exfoliator. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. We read in town today that Erisera means sea urchin or land of sea urchins or something like that and um, apparently there's loads of different sea urchins along the coast here and um, yeah it's really cool and we've just been walking along the beach enjoying the sound of the waves and unfortunately there's not going to be a sunset tonight because the clouds are kind of dipped again so I think we're going to head back up to the cliff now and then get back to the van and we're making pizza tonight. Just thought I'd jump in here from the future as this is now the end of this episode and I just wanted to explain that we're going to split this episode into two parts. The first part is going live as you are watching it now on Sunday as normal and the second part of this episode will go live on Wednesday. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to see how well two, uh, one episode being split into two parts does and we're not going to change anything that we're filming or the way we film, we're literally just going to make two episodes out of one episode. And we really want to hear in the comments what you think of this idea because we're not going to do anything different really. We're just going to do, um, instead of like a 25 minute plus episode, we're going to do two 10 minute plus episodes of about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're really excited to see how this goes. And yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you on Wednesday for the next part of this episode.